Um, I just celebrated my birthday, my 37th birthday. I will say this, what I learned, let's talk about what I learned from 36. 30, the year 36 has, I'm 37 now, but the year 36 has really taught me a lot. I will say this, um, I learned my shrimps. I learned the shrimps about myself. Um, I will say that. I've also had to make amends with things that this year I got back in this, into therapy, which has really been eye opening for me. Um, you know, there were some things I wanted to deal with. It's really been about coming to grip with certain things in my life. I know a lot of you guys, if you haven't known, or if you don't know, I did lose someone close to me, my uncle, or who was really intricate in my life. My uncle uh, passed away earlier this year and it was really, really hard on me. Um, I did take that a little hard. Also, not just that, I had to cut some people out of my life when it came to friendships. Like, you know, I was still having hope with certain people in my life that things will come together for us. But I had to realize that, you know, sometimes people just come in your life for seasons. So, you know, it was really hard realizing that you have some people in your life that just really, I hate to say it, but they don't, they don't mean you as well as you think. And I've been learning a lot about like my 12th house placements and um, learning about astrology. And one of the things that come up in my chart, I have like my Jupiter in 12th house, I have my North Node and different things like that. Sometimes I have this thing where it's funny because I'll have people, and I'll probably do a chart breakdown myself, what I'm learning about my chart. But I'll have people who I would think that, like, okay, we're in a good place. There's nothing, like, going on. You know what I mean? But then they will, I won't I won't say they'll pop up and be, like, hidden enemies. But you'll find out they'll have hidden animosity because of how they feel that you live. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes people, if I have to be real and just have a transparent moment, I, I run into people who feel like this is one of the reasons why I'm not friends with this with particular people anymore. They'll either feel like I don't deserve what I have because they look at like my life and think that I just get everything easy when they don't know how hard I really had to work for it. Or they'll, if not that, they'll feel like they'll feel like it's like a kind of like I shine the lights on people are dark parts, if you get what I'm saying. Like, and I'm learning this. I've been going to, like, different astrologists that have been helping me learn this about myself. And then learning in therapy, like, you know, it's not my it's not my problem. But I noticed about myself, like, you know, if you're someone that is, because we all have insecurities. But if you're someone that's very insecure in yourself and not trying to say this in a certain way. But, like, you have hidden insecurities within yourself and we, we meet up and you haven't really dealt with that because we all deal with insecurities. And, I, and I'm not the type of person who throw them whatever I'm doing in people's face. I don't do that at all. A lot of Honestly, guys and goddesses, I'm very secretive about what I have going on in my life. You will never know, right? But to the person that just meet me, if they don't feel as secure in themselves, they start to project and then they kind of, if I have to just be honest with you, they be, they be acting funny. They act weird. You get what I'm saying? And then I end up finding that that's been a theme when it comes to that. And before, what I used to do is, and this was a problem of mine, I'm learning therapy. I used to make excuses for people like, well, you know, they have this going on in their life. So they don't mean it like this. They may say this or they may do this, but I will always make excuses for why this person is quote unquote shading me. Or whatever. I had somebody come out and tell me this year, like, you know, I apologize. Like, I really was coming at you and it had nothing to do with you. It had everything to do with me and what's going on in my marriage. So, you know, I kind of projected that onto you and I'm sorry. And I was tempted to be like, well, at least they're be honest. But I had to say, that's not my problem. And that doesn't give you a right to treat me a certain way. You get what I'm saying? So, I say all that to say, like, I'm all for making friends and stuff. And I'm a person... You know, I have insecurities just like everyone else. But if you're the type of person that you have, like, you're, you're not working on dealing with your insecurities. And you, like, you know what I'm saying, think things are a competition or different things like that. Because I don't get the whole competition thing. 
stay away from me. I don't want, I don't need anybody like that. <laughs> and the moment I see that you start moving funny or whatever, I go ahead and put my distance. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm not the type of friend that's going to keep on being like, well, why are you doing this? Why are they feeling this? I'm the type of friend that, look, we can talk about it. Or if I see you start moving funny, I'm just going to go ahead and move out your way. Maybe you got something going on and you need to deal with. But um, especially if I know, like, I haven't really done anything to you. Because I'm the type of person, I'm okay with taking accountability. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm perfect or anything like that. But um, if you're the type of person who, you know, you think everything I do I'm, is, is shading you or something like that, I don't have time for that. That's just me. And that's what I'm learning. I'm probably going to put this clip up on uh, YouTube. But that's one thing I learned about 30 about 36 like you know i have to let people be them by themselves you get what i'm saying like i have friends i've had for years long-term friends that have for years and we can like not talk for a while come back together like nothing has happened and and it doesn't be be like we don't talk because we fell out it could just be just life and stuff you know what i'm saying and that's just how it is but yeah some people like like i feel like they they seek you out because they think that it's like some type of competition or something like that at first and then they try to suck your light from you so if you are especially if you're a light worker or a healer you got to watch out for people like that because there'll be people like that in your life another thing i learned about 36 36 getting back to me you know after my grandma passed away it's been a couple years like 2019 um I can say I really kind of lost the side of myself. Like, I used to be really, really into, like, beauty and fashion and stuff. And, you know, I just kind of, like, dialed it back some. Because it was, like, I was dealing with... It was a lot of things going on. Dealing with depression. You know, I had my surgery for my endometriosis. And just dealing with life. You know, the pandemic, we kind of stayed in. I got comfortable and stuff. Now I'm back to getting back to me. Uh, I've been really into glamour magic. Maybe we could talk about that if you guys want to. Um, but I've picked up a new hobby, which is my nails, God's Goddesses. I've been, like, just doing my nails, doing poly gel and different things like that. Uh, I've been thinking about, <laughs> like, um, on my beauty Instagram page, like, kind of showing off my nails more. But I've been really into it. I've been obsessed, 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 obsessed with nails. So I got me, like, a whole nail cart and different things like that. Um, but that's, like, my happy place, like nails and different things like that because you know you save money these nail shops since the pandemic is it just me or does it seem like they have been going up and they go up for some bull crap honestly um so <laughs> but one thing about 36 i say all this to say is i picked up a new hobby and that's been my new hobby uh for myself it reminds me of who i am and different things like that so i've been really getting into that um also i will say um another thing about 36 that i learned or picked up is for myself because it's about me right now <laughs> look truly yo is that i'm a lot stronger than i know like you know i've been really realizing that i'm a lot stronger than i really thought i was and um i've been learning to lean on that strength you know sometimes you look outside of yourself for other people to people to provide you for this strength and i've been really like realizing like wow like i'm a lot stronger than i realize especially dealing with like anxiety dealing with like uh battling like different things like that for those of you who don't know i deal with anxiety depression but i've been really really working through this therapy like i said has been eye-opening i suggest everyone won't go to therapy it's really been eye-opening it's, for me it's, bring, it's brought a lot of my relationships closer together and it's really really helped me reflect a lot on self so i plan on continuing therapy for as long as i can but yeah um and then the final thing is i've been on i've been showing up for people the way they show up for me what does that mean i've been i'm no longer making excuses for people like re reciprocation is a big thing for me especially going into 37 i'm not giving energy more energy into relationships I say like friendships and things with family more than you give me. If you don't show up for me, I'm not going to make an effort to show up for you. And that's just being real because I have a tendency. 
I always go above and beyond. And it's not that I'm looking for that in return, but but let's be real. When when in return, when I need those people, those same people to show up for me, they'll leave me hanging. I'm learning that you set yourself up for failure when it comes to that. You get what I'm saying? And then some people don't have the capacity to show up. You get what I mean? But I'm just learning to accept people for who they are and give out what I can afford when it comes to energy. So that's been the biggest thing for me but that's what i have to say when it comes to 37 or going into 37 my views of 36 how would i rate 36 i would rate 36 10 out of 10 stars honestly <laughs> even with everything that happened uh with the experiences and stuff i've already 10 out of 10 stars but yeah guys and goddesses so that's what i have to say about that <laughs>